Hey, I'm the One Gamer. Welcome back to PCM21. It's Stage Racer. We're on episode 23. I know I've been gone for a little while. Uh, it's been a long, long, well, a few months really, but last couple of weeks. Uh, that The difficult work is now behind me, so I'm slowly getting back to a regular schedule. Uh, the content will get back to a normal length probably by the end of this week as well. So I'm uh, looking forward to regularly scheduled and regular amounts of that content coming now speaking of getting back to what is regular uh, if you saw the last episode you saw the chaos that ensued in uh, not only a difficult spot that i was put under and kind of sacrificing a lot and it ended up not going the way i wanted it to in my first ever world tour stage race the very next stage i then had a fall that ended uh, big chunk of my season with just a broken arm, which is odd because now I have 50% fitness. I can't train with a broken arm. Really? Well, okay. It is what it is. We've been out. Our fitness is in terrible shape. We will be back soon in about a week or so. In the meantime, though, as a young athlete, I still managed to level up. My fitness isn't where it should be, but I did level up. So I'm now in 80 overall with district reputation so it's growing i have 80 mountain 80 time trial and 80 recovery the punchiness the prologue is coming along the acceleration is coming along the resistance is coming along now at 73 so really excited to get back at it let's see what happens the team not happy right now so getting a contract might not be the easiest thing but let's see how quickly we can bounce back and get into the action let's get to it we don't have to wait as long this year. Literally the next day, we've got a contract offer from Hoggins Berman. So we are staying with the team. 94000 the salary for next year. Of course, that's going to eat up a lot of the budget. However, it's a growing budget. It's Continental Pro Team now. And you can already see a total change to the landscape of the team as the three known riders or the three best riders that are signed on already for 2023, new faces coming to the team. So we'll see if that is progression are these better riders than what we've had around us or is this all that there is because all of their money is going into signing us we'll see hopefully the team is going the right direction and we aren't destroying uh, what would otherwise be a well-rounded team it's copa sabatini uh, we're still pretty early on and i'm just going times eight speed for probably quite a while here as I don't expect any action anytime soon. I don't have a leadership role, uh, so I don't have any team support. Six minute gap to a breakaway of nine. They actually want me to do the late breakaway strategy today where I go for it as a free element, but looking at the situation, not a good idea. Now, I expected coming off an injury to have something like this, a minus four race day condition. But here's the problem with this minus four race day condition. That is a minus four draw. That was not an expected race day condition. In fact, my race day condition is back to level pegging, back to zero, because it took four weeks from our injury recovery till the next race on the calendar four weeks have already passed i'm already back up over 90 percent fitness right now i have no fatigue i'm fully fresh i haven't raced in months so yeah it's mid-september already here in game that really sucks uh, and then getting a minus four draw today does not help the expectation though was not just free element i'm not going to get the bonus points for going in the break because well i'm not going to try not with 57 stamina no thanks not with 67 resistance no thanks uh, punchiness is only a 73 today mountains is 79 that's still okay but there's not that much climbing the punchiness is what matters on a day like this so getting a top 10 highly unlikely highly unlikely but hanging on and getting a decent result certainly possible and speaking of getting a decent result, because I should be there for the final climb, no problem with a mountain rating that I have. Uh, the expectation? Finish top 30. 
that should be pretty easy to to, uh, to manage. Uh, we are starting to get late on. It's 40k to go, and the pace is really picking up. Let's bring it on down. Uh, so we're ready to go for the final run in. Those nine riders still out ahead. Malone, who was on the team already, I was mentioning like, oh, I don't know who this is. Yeah, at least two of those guys are teammates because they're here today. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Well, anyway. Uh, that's the finish line it's not even all the way to the top so that makes it that much easier but we've got to hit it two more times before we then have the final run in uh, we are seeing a small attack right now and the field is beginning to split we're going to speed up a little bit more to hang on we're down to a peloton of 63 back to just those nine riders away the group's getting smaller and smaller here we go into the climb yet again save myself for what's to come uh, I shouldn't have too much trouble getting up this hill right now. I was about 24.3. It's it's not even a full kilometer, uh, that final run in. That's where that punchiness is really going to be a factor. One more time. Group's getting smaller. Nope, now larger. Back group regaining contact. Speed up a little bit more. Still, still seven riders away. But they got nothing left. Oh, we're seeing a big attack right here, though. That's the group that I should probably be going with. Slow down, slow down. Back together. Back together again. 14k to go. The final time up the climb is, is coming in just a moment. And I think there's going to be an attack here momentarily. Let's go 85. Use our mountain rating to its max. A lot of these guys are kind of wasting some effort. Down to one rider off the front. Oh, I get blocked off, really? Sepulveda blocks me off there. One pass Malone. All right, we're still in contention. We're in good position. Uh, we're seeing some guys trying to attack, but they're sitting up now. Let's get back into a forward position because that there are attacks. Ayuso trying to attack. That's three riders off the front. 9K to go. Down to 43. Martin. Go do. Got to watch out for these guys. Got to set up for that final climb. We still have the energy. We're just kind of pushing along right now. I have that terrible flat rating. This is not a good time for that. But we've got to be near the front. Near the front. Don't need to be in the front. Gel up. Okay. Turn it back up a little bit. Let's follow... Follow Bardet. We still have Godu off the front. 3k to go. Coming up on it. Not a lot of energy. Gel kicks in though. Approaching the climb. We're going to kind of just do our pace on that climb. And now's the time to get up into position. This climb features hey, some hey, hey. Game, game. 800 meters. All right, looking like top 10 could be possible. We're coming up on Van Sevenant. Uh, Robert Stannard takes the win. That minus four, the, the stamina just wasted away. I know I could have tried to hold position at some point, but there was those constant attacks. They were always likely to pull away from you. We do grab a top 10, so that's a good result on the day. With that minus four race day condition, I never expected to really contend I just wanted to be in a good position to get an okay result. And with a you know 73 hill rating, we were never going to actually compete for the win. So getting into the top 10, that's uh, a good result. Let's go ahead and push forward. I don't know if it's the next thing on the calendar, but the world championships are right around the corner. And it may be what is next. Okay, we have a massive task on our hands because I am not in the top 10 favorites yet. The objective today is top 5. Uh, ouch. Easier said than done. Top 5. Uh, okay, so we come out a little strong. 
we're, we're up to speed. We're 52 kilometers an hour. We're, we're settling down near to the saddle. And now we've got to kind of pick out what, what's going to get us 46 kilometers. We've got one big climb at the end. And I do want to push through that period because as an excellent climber, that's going to be a good time for me today. Race day conditions so much better with a plus two overall. That's giving me 82 on the mountain that I need for that climbing sector. And then 83 on the time trial that I need throughout the stage besides that one little sector. But then 78 on the resistance. That's going to massively help us get through this in one piece. My flat rating does not matter today. I am a good time trialist and that's the key. Now, in terms of energy consumption, even at 76, we still seem to be draining a little bit faster than... Uh, we are proceeding along the way, so we're going to have to back off a little bit more. I don't know how I'm going to pull off a top five on this one. I really don't. I think at this point, in terms of effort, early energy consumption, I better be right around first place at this first sector if there's going to be any chance of a result today. Now, wind coming back at us and strong. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the map. Are we straight out straight out straight out and it's really just at the end of the climbing where things are gonna get technical downhill 72 that's gonna matter a little bit so far first place as expected how far in first place are we oh a full minute 20 ahead of matthews and shockman there's already some big names out there walshide kruzweig i mean that's that's a lot of big names that have already gone in in the first 14 and most of it is big names and we are way way ahead i mean there's shockman who sits fourth overall and we're about to pass him uh we are still not really recovering though i've gone through way too much energy meanwhile palace has way too much energy left we're backing off a little more though as we proceed forward a little bit ever so slightly uphill right through here into town yeah we're still passing shockman but we've got to get some recovery going. We've got to start expending less than uh, what we're... We've got to make this last. We've got to make this last. So, ouch. Ouch on the distance part. We're still ahead of Shockman, though. He has not recovered. He's not gotten back to us. Craddock now setting off. Can we get through the climb? There's a lot of descending in... The final sector still first sobrero now inside a minute 246 ahead wow wow on that part but can we get through this climb without running out of energy if we can get through we might have a chance at hanging on obviously obviously we went too hard too early but this has got to try to last we're approaching the top of the climb. Here comes Shockman back past us as we have really let up a lot, but we're still ahead. Remember, we had a two-minute advantage. Minute 44 to Shockman. Shockman now second overall. With the descent, you can see how this is helping us. We're now 3K from the finish. Now, we've got to try to make this energy last into the final kilometer, into the final kilometer, and across the line. First place so far. First place so far. Minute 27 clear of Shockman. Two minutes ahead of Ben Wilder. <sighs> we did go too hard early. That could have been done better, but this is going to be a really good time. It will be a good time, but will it hold up? Is it a win? Probably not. Sobrero, who was second best, now 58 seconds behind at the finish. So how does it compare? We were a minute 15. Tanfield was a minute 43. We haven't seen him. Asgrade was 40 seconds behind, but we are still first place at the final checkpoint, and we're still first place at the finish line as of right now. But we're only about halfway through the riders. Uh, nervous moments. Nervous moments. Still in the lead. Asgreen, 26 seconds down. We saw him as one of the highest times up there. Craddock in the top 10. Barta is out there, of course. He's one of the stronger riders. Is going strong early on going to pay off and net us a world championship? 
probably not. I'm not expecting the rainbow bands, but right now it's looking that looking likely that it could be a top five. Cataneo is sixth. Pollitt is seventh. Shockman still hanging on to the eighth best time. Craddock still tenth best. Campanards is an eleventh. That's one to watch out for. Lampart is out there. So we are ahead of some of the best. That's at least three of the best time trialists, and they are all behind us currently. Uran went seventh best, knocking Craddock outside of the top ten. Here comes Barta through a busy sector. You can see he's pushing hard through there. Roglic, fourth. Oliveira, sixth. Still top of the time charts. Only seven riders within a minute. Six riders, actually, because you got to subtract ourselves, right? Barta, just 20th best. Second. Oh, Rowan Dennis. That's okay. That's okay. Top five. Top five. Yeah, I, I knew right from the get-go this was not going to be a top, top time. I expected it. Eventipol, three seconds ahead. Top three. Podium. I'll take it. Coming back from injury after everything we just had. And clearly way too strong out of the box. Uh, and it took us a long time to adjust that down into something that was manageable. And we made it work to the end. But it was not the best overall that I could have managed for 46k. I needed to be way, way, way lower on the energy consumption. But it's been weeks since I've played. I'm rusty at 46k. I, I don't know. I'm rusty. That could have been a win though. It could have. You know it. I know it. Three seconds from a win. That close. But it's a Venipole deservingly i'm only an 80 in time trial right now i shouldn't be winning this year anyway it's okay it is okay but it's a podium that might be worth a level Let's see if it is not quite turn of the month will make it one though even if we don't do anything else turn of the month will get us to level 13 that will not be attribute points though that's just going to be a skill point we get a top three that's a good start. That's a good return after being so long out of the saddle on the sidelines. The broken arm. Really? Who doesn't race with a broken arm? Pro wise. Amateur. Yeah. Broken arm. Okay. You take time off. Pros. Come on. Broken arm. Wrap that thing up. Get out there. Get on the saddle. Get to racing. That is going to do it for this episode. Though. I'm the Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.